Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about how to find a sublet in New York. Before we get into it, you're welcome to subscribe at any time. If you do subscribe, you'll be getting a lot of self-development videos from me. So if that's something that sounds good to you, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Number one, you need to apply only two weeks before you move to the city. This city operates really quickly and two weeks is ample time to find an apartment. Apartment listings go on the market one day and the next day they completely disappear. Especially right now, there are so many people visiting apartment showings. I saw a TikTok where a real estate agent took a selfie with more than 50 people going to an open house. He said that it was the first time he's ever seen anything like this. If I find it, I'll put it right here. That's not to scare you at all. In fact, I was looking at apartments and this isn't even subletting. I was looking at apartments, like which is even harder. And as long as you keep a positive mindset and think, you know what? No, I'm going to find the perfect place for me. You're going to find the perfect place for you. Subletting is a lot easier than finding an apartment because, you know, people don't want to break their leases and you're doing them a favor by stepping in and you know, paying the rent. But of course, make sure that it's within the two week time period because many people do jump up at the opportunity to rent an apartment in a specific area of New York, Manhattan, Brooklyn, all of the things, all of the areas, right? So two weeks max. Step number two, you're gonna want to go on Gypsy Housing on Facebook. Now this is where all of the magic happens. Everyone and their mother and their dog is on Gypsy Housing. Literally everyone I've talked to, from people that are just visiting for two weeks to people that have lived in New York for years. Facebook is your best friend for this. I mean, there are plenty of other Facebook groups you can join to sublet, but in my personal opinion, they weren't the best for me. I know a lot of people that have had luck with them, but it wasn't my vibe. I feel like there was more variety on Gypsy Housing, and I don't wanna highlight and promote something that personally didn't work for me. If you're coming in from a different country, you can always check, you know, Australians living in New York Facebook group or whatever country you're from living in New York Facebook group. My friend who's Australian solely wanted an Australian roommate and it worked for him twice. He has been over the top you know, happy, elated. He subletted when he first moved here and he used it to find an apartment. And then later on, he used it to find a roommate and he, you know, loved that process. So if you're a little bit uncomfortable sharing an apartment with strangers, you can always try that option. Number three, like I previously mentioned, apartments go insanely quick in New York. So you're gonna have to turn your notifications on for gypsy housing and respond as soon as you see a new posting that you like. Number four, when you find an apartment that you love and you've taken a look at the roommate on their Facebook profile, and if you think that, hey, this person looks like a match. This person looks like someone that I could potentially maybe live with. You can send them a message and we're going to be saving this message and sending it to everyone every time you find an apartment that you like. We're just gonna have to, of course, tweak it a little bit. So definitely start off with a high exclamation point. You always have to start with all of the information that they need at the very start. So always, always include your age, your job, when you want to move, if you smoke, if there's any pets that you have, and if you're working from the office, if you're working from home, are you doing a combination of both? What does your job require you to do? Do you have any hobbies? Do you have any partners? I would include that straight away. It's not abrasive, it's straight to the point. New Yorkers are very fast paced. They want things laid down straight away quickly so they can evaluate and have that information straight away. They don't want to keep on going back and forth with, hey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. Straight away, tell them everything. It's out there in the open and it's easy. And then you can follow along with any questions or concerns that you have with the apartment. For example, when I was looking for a place, I really wanted laundry in the apartment. I would ask, you know, do they have partners or what they do as well? Because it's a two-way process. You're interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. So this is the layout that I had when I was searching for a an apartment that I actually got. This person was very lovely. I mean, 99% of them are so absolutely lovely and they provide information straight away. You want to reply as soon as possible and 
basically make it clear that you're ready to move in like straight away let them know and let them be clear what specific date it is that you need to move because there are different plans that people have I mean when I was looking for a roommate I definitely wanted someone at a specific date because my other roommate was moving out at one specific day obviously you don't want things to cross over and obviously you don't want a big space because you know who's going to be paying that rent so at the same time they will ask you questions and then they'll ask you when you're available to look at the apartment if they don't ask you ask it as soon as you possibly can and whenever they're available try to look at the apartment as soon as possible because most of the time nine times out of ten they want to find someone as soon as possible and you want to be one of the first people in that door to check out the apartment number five now I get a lot of questions about furniture and I understand that if you're moving from another country you don't don't necessarily have the means to buy all of the furniture to furnish your room right I definitely really wanted to have furniture already in the space because I was moving in I didn't even want to think about the hassle so I asked them if the room comes furnished a lot of the times actually it did come furnished but some people would you know sell their furniture in a lot of cases they just couldn't be bothered and they wanted to move out and they would just leave it that's what happened in my case at first uh, she wanted to sell all of the furniture which is totally fine but then I kind of was taking a little bit long to respond I was looking at other apartments and I got lucky because there were people that you know wanted the apartment but they just wanted me for some reason and she just like left all of her stuff like her bed I'm still using that bed to this day I had free furniture basically that came with the room so you can definitely ask them about what their situation is with furniture if that's not a problem there are also options that have you know no furniture at all in the sublet number six get all of your documents ready now sublets are a little bit more relaxed than actual you know leases that you know brokers and landlords and things like that but I want you to be prepared because not all of the time are they going to be lenient some of the time they do want all of these documents I want you to be prepared but also at the same time know that there are an unlimited amount of subleases and you're doing them a favor by renting and living in their space and paying the rent and taking over their lease this is more so if you're applying for an apartment but they might send you an application form subleases most of the time they don't but what was strange with my situation is I didn't have to fill out an application but when I was looking for a new roommate my landlord required them to fill out an application form that was like a formal way of saying hey this person has taken over the sublease I think it's because I subleased for a month without even realizing it and they were like oh you can sign on to the lease now and so I just signed on to the lease without being like a like a technical sublet but that's how I found the apartment so if you're looking for an apartment that's also a really great way like just sublease for like a month and then they'll be like hey like if you want this apartment it's yours you know so you need to have a completed application form they will send that out to you it's just all the basic stuff date of birth and you know income they have all the questions and it's very easy and a straightforward process so number two and this is again most likely if you're looking for an apartment and not subletting but they always require a $20 application fee sometimes they don't ask for and sometimes they do but I wouldn't worry about that too much as a sub Lisa but keep that in the back of your mind number three is really important again if you're looking for an apartment but you need to provide a letter of recommendation from your landlord stating how much you paid and how long you stayed at the apartment I don't think that's really required for a sub Lisa but if that's something that you have and you really love the apartment and there's competition for it I think that it's an excellent excellent tool when I was applying for my own apartments you need needed a letter of recommendation from your landlord like letter of landlord recommendation is treated as gold from my experience so keep that in mind number four now this is very important it is a letter of employment from your company that you're working with with the company letterhead and a signature at the bottom and then basically stating what you do for work your length of employment and your salary number five they're going to need a proof of employment meaning either two pay stubs or a w-2 form or a one 1040 form. <laughs> Number six is two forms. They have to be official government forms, and one usually has to be a photo ID. This is when I would show my Australian passport. Another one can be your visa, another one can be your driver's license, anything like that. 
Now, they may not ask everything, but those two points that I just mentioned are definitely something that they will ask for. Now, they might ask for a bank statement as well or any investment portfolio or both as well. And finally, your last three rent checks. Now, if you're just moving to the United States, that's fine. But if you have been residing in the United States, they'll most likely ask you for that as well. And number seven, my final word of advice. As soon as you see a photo that looks bomb, you like the deal, the roommates look fire cop on it straight away and look at every single apartment some apartments don't look that great but then when you look at them in real life you're like this is amazing so look at every single thing that is you know a priority for you for example a priority for me that I didn't know about I mean I wasn't even looking at this but I got lucky but like now it's like a definite priority like living really close to my work and so I just walk to work. So, you know, always make a list of priorities of what is most important to you. Do you want just one roommate? Do you want two roommates? Do you want laundry? Do you want more space? All of that kind of stuff. You have to prioritize some of the things like, I didn't get my laundry because I lived in the East Village, but the East Village was close to my work, you know? So different things like that. But as soon as you find a photo that looks amazing, I mean, be lenient, like go there, check it out, check the vibes out, have a chat with, you know, whoever is going to be living with you, ask a few questions, Questions and if you like it just hop onto it remember it's not permanent it's something that's temporary you can even do it for a month or six months and then you know find your own apartment once you've settled down and found you know a neighborhood that suits you best because you just moved to the city you don't know so you know get cut yourself a little bit of slack doesn't have to be perfect and yeah I hope that this helped and if you guys have any more questions let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one love you guys